welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Jo and I am a creator. I do things from beauty, lifestyle, fitness to all in between on this channel. So if you guys love stuff like that, then please keep watching and make sure that you like this video and subscribe so that you don't miss more videos. As you guys see from the title, I am so, so happy to be back with you guys. Let me say that first. Like, let me just jump to that. So happy to be back with you guys. So this is my first ever get ready with me. Like, this was weird. Um, but honestly, I felt like that's kind of what you guys wanted to see a little bit more of since I did the spend the day with me last week. I knew that you guys probably would love to see or do like a get ready with me. So before I get into also my favorites from the Kylie Leopard collection, since you know, I tried to film two weeks ago and as you can see here, my light broke in half, which put me behind another week because I tried to film without a light and I'm going to just tell y'all. The lighting in here is so dark. Like, let me show you what my light looks like with my windows completely open, blinds open, all the sunlight, and let me show you. Hang on. I mean, it's not terrible. Let's be honest. It's not terrible. But it doesn't look, you know, it doesn't look crisp and good. Like, we don't like that. We don't like it. I don't like it. Ah, oh, that's what I like brightness make me feel like i'm like you know filming something get me in the mood so if you guys are excited to do this video and watch me get ready and maybe get ready with me go get your stuff all your makeup or whatever or just sit on the couch like i like to do and eat something and watch a video and scroll through my phone and listen and pay attention so um i love you guys so so much and let's get into this video so you guys know that i tried to film this like two weeks ago <clears throat> By the way, I'm going in with my Tatcha water cream because the foundation I'm going to be using today is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop um, that you guys have seen me use before in the shade Buff. But it's honestly, for some reason, I just noticed that since my skin's gotten real dry since the winter started, like more dry than it's ever been in my whole life. Like I've got texture up here and like shit like that going on that don't normally happen. So weird. Um, it does not really marry well with my poreless putty primer that I love so much. Um, or even the matte one, you know, the same putty primer. There's a matte and there's a poreless. Either one of them, you know, they're my favorite. Um, it just doesn't really marry well. It kind of looks a little, like, too dry. Like, you can see the separation. I don't know. You guys probably can't see it on camera, but I can see it, especially when I'm doing it and up close. So, I'm just going to use the water cream today. I feel like that was a lot. Oh, Lord. So, I'm very, very excited to tell you guys that I have a big mirror coming for this table. You know, this table had a mirror, if you guys watched when I first opened it, when the year first started. And um, I'm just really tall, so I can't even open this vanity up and use it, and I also use it for my um, like makeup desk, so. <laughs> it's fine, everything's fine, don't worry about it. Um, I feel like everything is trial and error, you learn as you go. Um, I have learned and spent more money on YouTube this first year starting than I ever have. So, um, I'm just mind blown. Like, I thought that I knew a lot before, like, before I even started. And now that I've actually started, I realized I completely 100% get, like, the whole what works for you is what works for you. I love the new light that I have. I'm using it right now. And it's just wonderful. Can, can y'all really know the difference? Probably not, honestly. I, like, think so. This room in the new house is very dark. Um... I have like the windows literally like completely open and the blinds like pulled up as far as possible and it's pretty daylight outside um, and it's still not helping. Next I'm going to go in with my foundation that I just told you guys about and I'm going to use it on a brush because you know I'm just not a sponge bitch anymore. I used to back in the day. so excited to have a mirror on this table because I'm really tired of holding this mirror while I get ready and talking to you guys. It's just like, it's like, it's not efficient anymore. All right, the hair is going out because clearly this ain't fucking working. I keep trying to just tuck it behind it to make it look like, you know, it's like just laying there. Yeah, fuck that. We're over it. We're over it. Hair's going up. So I really just get tired of holding this mirror. And honestly, I just feel like as you go along, you realize, you know, efficiency is more important. And 
holding this mirror is just not making me happy anymore. And it's like, I can have my other hand free, you know, while I'm talking to you guys right now, like to like, you know, look at myself and like do something with this. And I can't do shit with it if my freaking hand's holding the small mirror. So, yeah, I know I'm extra sassy today. I have not ate yet. And y'all know I just woke up and my hair's falling. Oh my God, this is literally, uh, Um, haven't ate yet. I, I got, I got, I just, you know, that's what it is. I just not ate yet. I got good sleep though, I'm not gonna lie, but I don't like that I have a slip in so late. However, that's just my life, honestly. Like, I am on nightlife because of my work schedule anyways, but I'm also on nightlife because, like, I just noticed that I am up and about and the most productive. Don't forget your guys' ears when you're doing makeup. I think I've told y'all that before multiple times, but let's just run it back. In case y'all are new here, don't forget your ears. Because somebody gonna notice. Or you're gonna wear your hair out and think you look all cute and take a picture in our slide. Two totally different shapes. I don't want that, right? So, um, yeah. I just, I just need some coffee and I need to, uh, where was I? Oh yes, back to what I was saying. <laughs> um, I'm just more productive at nighttime, probably because I'm like set the most awake. Like I've already been awake all day, I've probably already been at work, I've already done what I'm supposed to do for the day. So, I come home like most of the time, if you guys see me tweet, if you guys follow me on Twitter, um, I'm really sassy there if you think I'm sassy here sometimes. <laughs> so, uh, on Twitter, I always talk about how I'm clean at midnight. That's a real thing. Like, I'm always cleaning at midnight, and Alicia's trying to sleep for work, and she's like, I heard you sleeping outside the door. I'm like, I'm lying. I try to clean it like noon, like a normal person, and like, sometimes on my day off, I do. Sometimes. I love this foundation. Um, let me, let me back that statement out. I like this foundation. I would use love for foundations like my, um, NARS Sheer Glow, or like, my Estee Lauder Laura Mercier foundation that I was using for a hot minute. I still have my Laura Mercier. I've just honestly been trying to try a lot of drugstore products um, and like really get one that I really like feel like I should share with you guys. I don't like share things I don't like or that I don't like live by. And it's really hard for me to like want to do a drugstore video for you guys, like an all drugstore video, because I'm going to. Don't get, me twi don't get it twisted. See, here you're holding this fucking mirror. Uh, I'm going to. I just, I just really, really want to make sure that the products that I pick are good for you, and that I love them. And honestly, I want a good foundation there. So let me go back to. I like this product. I do, but it's very matte, um, which normally I'm obsessed with. But like, you got to blend. Like, how long have I been putting on foundation already? Like, I feel like I just gotta touch up and touch up and touch up because if you wait too long, it will dry on you that quickly. If I just my face has been doing pretty well, like I told you guys, um, for the most part. But, like, I'm seeing a lot of, like, chin breakouts, which I feel like I've kind of always had chin breakouts since I started filming, to be honest, like, in this area. Uh, my cystic acne that caused my scarring is, like, um, on my cheek areas, clearly. So, but I just feel like, for the most part, it's doing pretty well. But like I said, I honestly really 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 been annoyed and noticed how dry it is i actually was filming this video trying to and um huh, that was a shit show and i was putting on the new highlighter that you guys will see here in a little bit and i noticed like i was just having like some crazy texture and i was like that has not always been there like i know that's not my face i know it's not always been there so then I started noticing like in my skincare routine, I'm like, oh my God, like I have like a lot of frigidness right here. Like a lot. My hands are a totally different shape. Like, I'm going to wear a long suit today anyways. Don't stress about it. I think being a Virgo, I hate to blame it on that, but I feel like since I'm a Virgo, that does make a difference. Cause like, I be so damn particular about everything. And like, now that I know in my head that my hands don't match, like that, that bothers me in the core of my soul. So I'm just trying to like ignore it just move on let's just move on and get over it that's another thing i can't be getting over shit i be getting mad about things and just holding on to it and i'll be rambling okay so i got a new pro concealer 
Um, this is not New York, let's be real. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal, and this is in the color Chestnut. Um, my favorite, favorite, favorite contour product ever. This is a love product that I like to love, um, is this. It has the perfect tip on it. Um, you'll see literally almost any YouTuber, every YouTuber user. It's a brush, you just squeeze it, comes to the top, yay. And then you basically just go to town with it, and it blends so well. I loved it. I didn't get to know that um, the Walmart around me didn't have LA Girl. So like when I went to get it a long time ago, which is how I found the um, NYX one that you guys have seen me use that I like so much versus that. Pencil. This one, the Born to Glow, um, it's got a different kind of tip. It's like a sponge tip on it. So, so you can see the difference here. But honestly, um, if you're gonna compare them, they're pretty much a lot of lock, to be honest. Like they kind of have like the same like tube structure and you know, they're both very, very, very affordable products. And like, so don't worry. These two will definitely be in the drugstore look. Don't get it twisted. You already know what's coming because I'm obsessed with Honestly, I love both of them. To some of you guys, you might find this chin part like nerve wracking because you're like, that's really dark. To me, it's a very therapeutic movement. Like, I'm just like, you know, it's like the ocean or like the wind, butter. I don't know. I'm trying to use any smooth metaphor that I can think of in this moment. So I'm gonna use the same brush that I used a second ago, which I didn't tell you guys, but I've not gotten any new brushes. So you, if you've been watching any of these tutorials, you know that I'm using the same 15 brushes because I need to get me some new ones. Probably get that for Christmas for myself or somebody might get me some because they're like, she needs some new brushes. Well. But this is the e.l.f. brush. I could probably use this in a drugstore haul as well. Um, it'd be doing this job. It'd be doing this job. You know, that's a little dark. Be blending well. I mean, maybe I can make it work. I mean, but I feel like it's a little dark on the camera. What y'all think? Let's we'll go back over it a little bit with some. When the highlight and stuff's on, it'll, it'll come together. See, it just honestly, it looks like I'm like going really hard, but like I'm barely even using my hand, and it just blends so effortlessly. Um, and LA Girl's always been popular for this concealer. I'm gonna leave the nose for a second. We'll blend out this jaw. On. See how easy that was? And then, guys, I like to take it on down. I feel like people get critiqued a lot if they're like a makeup artist or like, you know, like a YouTuber and they don't shade match well. Um, I'm getting better at it. It's practice. Don't worry. Um, but my favorite YouTuber ever is Crispy. And I was watching one of her videos the other day and she mentioned that. She's like, I don't know about y'all, but I'm the shittiest shade matcher if you can't tell. And I like, I just felt something from that. You know, I was like, you know, I'd be feeling the same way sometimes. Like, I'll be picking it up in the store and you know what you do. You know, you're like... Now, this looks a little more neutral this looks a little more warm this looks a little more cool tone you know you kind of go back and forth and you try to match it like to your wrist because normally like that's closer than like the back of your hand i'm pretty sure it's your wrist i think it's like right here because it's like your most true skin tone color because a lot of people try to match it to their neck and people are like don't do that so you know i think i'm good and i'll get home i'm like yeah this is this is the shade this is it buff buff is it and i'll put it on like right now and i'm like Was that it? Sure. Coffee. So, with that being said, <laughs> let's blend out this nose contour. This, this, this nose contour. I'm gonna use the uh, like the tip of the beauty blender on one side, and just I'm just gonna tap it out. Tap, 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 tap. Y'all heard the remix of that with uh, uh, what's his name? The baby. That's why I wrote a whole song like tap, 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 and then he starts rapping and I just, I, that's my favorite part. I'll be singing it all the time. Let's use a brush. Let's use this Sigma brush. Sigma E30. I'm gonna wipe it off on this towel first. I'm like, so next I'm gonna go in with my favorite. This is definitely a favorite concealer. This is my Tarte Shape Tape Medium. Um, I love this concealer. I love everything about the concealer. I love the tip of it. I love the smell of it. I don't know why. It smells amazing. It reminds me of like, probably just YouTube because it's like when I first started using it, I was really just into it um, a lot and like I've stuck with it and I just really like it. Like I really, really, really do. Um, and you know, I see people that literally like fucking hate this concealer and I'm like, it really is a like, 
what works for you kind of life out there then because I'm like I don't I don't feel the same like not even slightly like I, I, I love this stuff I'm like Alicia just recently got um, signed up for pet insurance that was her decision um, and she was like it'll help with Alba's surgery so we're gonna call and set that up soon um, I think that we're about to come up on another shutdown which really does suck because honestly, I really don't know if, I don't know if the economy can take another shutdown, to be honest. Like, seriously, like, working as a bartender slash server makes me really nervous for the people around me and myself and my, um, you know, my co-workers, um, the corporate, the investors, everybody. Um, I don't think that we can take another one, but it looks like it's possibly coming. Um, most states around us have already done it. I'm in Tennessee. Um, so, you know, Michigan, Kentucky, all of them have already done it. Um, normally I don't take my concealer out this far away, but I have been lately, like, just dabbing it out. I don't know why. I just, I guess just to, like, I don't know. I don't know why I've been doing it, but I have. Um, so now I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to go in and try to, like, buff that concealer out a bit. Uh, or that contour out a bit with this concealer. So, I feel another shutdown's coming, but I'm going to try to get her in for her appointment. Uh, before to see what they say and I hope that it goes well I could be wrong it could not go well at all they could be like listen um, she got to wait but um, she's doing very well the past few months her legs have not really been hurting her um, or it's her knees that's the issue but I say legs is like I just see her whole leg like moving so um, and she's doing very well the winter is um, you know here though so I'm afraid that's gonna cause an issue that's where it's gonna start back hurting her so bad so I really would like to get in there and get her prepped for her first surgery and to see what they're going to say about it. So that's an update on that. Um, so let's get into what the actual um, title of this vlog is about. The Kali kit. So I, you know, tried to do the like first reveal thing for you guys, you know, show you guys the swatches and stuff, which um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys right now because I still have that part of the footage as you guys can see here. Um, this is the shadows that I have put on my arm and I try to um, Make sure that I you know backed up enough on my forearm to get them But I did not but they're beautiful. Can you guys see like they're just absolutely gorgeous my favorite shades um, in the palette are Honestly all of them. I wish that I could pick one but um, They're just absolutely gorgeous So and then I'm gonna show you guys the palette here now like here's the palette itself um you can see kind of what shades I've already dipped into and what ones I haven't. Um, they're honestly just literally, they're beautiful. Like, I this is probably my favorite shade, this one right here. I love it so much. It's such a beautiful, like, dark, like, fall, winter mood. I don't know. It's just like a very pretty rust-like color. Swatching it was my favorite. And here I'm going to show you guys the swatches of the gloss set. I'm not a very big gloss person. You guys know that I've always got a matte lip on, but honestly, when I seen her swatch these on her story before the collection released, I was like, hmm, no, I'm gonna need those in my collection in case I want to wear them. I do love them. Um, they're very beautiful. I think I like uh, the two less shimmery ones the most, obviously. I think they'll be beautiful, but to be honest, this whole collection was really brilliant. Um, I really do like Kylie's stuff. I know that a lot of people can't stand her because, you know, she's the youngest billionaire in the world and we we tend to lean toward envy and jealousy more in this world than anything i feel like sometimes but i love her stuff i've always liked the products she releases i'm not going to get every single collection i got the sailor summer collection and then this one she's already out with the grinch collection for christmas and i'm just like eh, it's all right um i like to buy things that i know that i'm going to use normally that i'm like and like i said the second this dropped i seen it on her story i was like i love that leopard collection so much um, these are the glosses up close, um, and these are the two shades I was talking about being my favorite. Um, they're absolutely beautiful, and of course I'm going to use them today. And then the last thing I got from the collection was the Kyloter. Oh my god, as you guys can see here, it's beautiful. It's just got a few pops of pink in it, but it's mostly just a really pretty gold um, highlight. I love it so much. Um, swatching it made me even more excited when I wore it. It was gorgeous. Here it is. Um, it's just, it's, it's beautiful. Um, oh, it's a little bright. Sorry. Um, there you go. So it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's got like the prettiest 
just a pretty gold tone honestly i'll probably use this all winter i've already put back the other kylie one i have and put this one on my table for my quick grab um so far i just love it so much it's called hear me roar and it's just beautiful so i read you guys the names um i did not of the swatches in the palette so we've got wild at heart feline fine she's so fucking I love whoever's doing her fucking marketing or packaging or whatever unless it is her either way I love whoever's doing it and um, we got RAR um, Golden Speed Exotic Babe Lioness but it's spelled like Leoness I don't know if she's a Leo or she did that like for Leopard probably for Leopards I'm stupid whatever um, Cheetah Girl Lucky Leo Seeing Stripes Cool Cat um, Love You Forever and it's spelled like Fur Ever um you know, like a fur jacket. Um, Chrome Kitty, Heart of a Lion, Wild Side, and Pretty Panther. So, once again, like I said, I just, I love it. I also love the front of the packaging. Like I said, this whole collection just screamed fall to me. And I was like, and like all the nudes and the browns. And I'm here for it. I'm so here for it. So, I'm going to do my brows off camera. Because I think you guys watch me do those many times. I'm just using the Palmade Dip Brow by Anastasia Beverly Hills in Auburn. So, so now that brows are done, we're going to go in with eyeshadows. I am going to do a very matte um, look today, just like I did whenever I was going to film it for you guys the first time because I had finished the rest of it off camera after my light broke. And honestly, I love how it came out. Actually, because this is already going to be kind of long since it's a get ready with me, I'm going to do this eye off camera and then I'm going to zoom you guys in for this eye. How about that? So first, I'm going to go in with the color scene stripes and I'm just going to put that all over and drag it out a bit because it's just the transition shade. Like I said, take it all over the lid. And like I said, it's a very yellowy shade, but honestly, as you can see over here, it goes very well together. So, that'll be done. So, next I'm going to go in, by the way, that was a wet and wild fluffy brush. Everything's a fluffy brush. So, Next, I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics number 13 brush. I've decided that I think this is literally one of my favorite brushes. I don't know why. It's like just a perfect fluffy brush for like putting the crease detailing in there. So I'm going to go in with the shade RAR. And I'm just going to slowly start to build up that crease part right here. And I'm doing it slowly because the way I'm going to do it. I don't want it to get out of pocket. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm going to come down here on the lid. I'm just going to start tapping it in right through here really create that like um sharp v effect that i'm going for it's just like the perfect and easiest matte eye ever and these shadows just blend really easy like i said her stuff is really good um next i'm going to go in with a morphe by jacqueline hill brush a jh37 and it's just like a I don't really know what this is. It's not really it's some kind of fluffy brush, of course, but it's just kind of like a little, it's really straight. It doesn't really have a lot of like give, kind of good one is. Yes. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Cool Cat, which is more like a, like a reddish brown. And I'm just going to kind of put that on top of the crease just because I really like that color a lot. And I'm gonna add it to the bottom as well, but then I'm going to put on the lid shade first and I'm going to use the Sigma E30 that I used to try to blend out my contour earlier. Remember that? And I'm going to put Leonis, 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 whatever. It's a very pretty cream matte in the inner corner and all of that part of the inner lid. Honestly, it probably could have been used as a transition shade, but I like it so much more as like a base shade. So pretty. So now going back in with that same Jaclyn Hill brush. I'm going to take the color Cool Cat that I just put on top of there. And I told you guys it was like a copper shade. And I'm just going to marry this area right here. Now I'm going to do the under part of the eye. And I'm going to use the same Sigma brush. And I'm going to use the color Love You Forever. It's a dark, dark brown too. I was trying to use as many shades in this palette as possible when I did this look. Because I really wanted to like, you know, utilize the palette as much as possible. And then I'm going to do Cool Cat right underneath it. Just to give it that smoky, coppery, red like look. Orange, red, whatever color it kind of looks like. I don't know, it's really pretty. 
And now, as always, using Better Than Sex liner. My favorite liquid liner, probably the favorite. I love this product, you know, kind of thing. And I always start from the middle. Or, I'll do like this. Draw the wing. And bring it back. And yes, it looks really messy right now because it always does, but the hard part's over. I just like to build it up to where it's really pretty. And I didn't want like a straight wing. I wanted like a, you know, like a, like a pretty like little, I was thinking a swan kind of look. That's what I wanted. So I'm going to go back in with that same Sigma brush and I'm going to blend underneath the eye when marry it with the liner right here. I don't know why I like doing this so much, but I do. I just really like how it looks. And I went in with Cool Cat and did the same thing. And now you're just gonna add your lashes and mascara to that eye. So I'm gonna pull you guys back out for that. I always like to stick them in the middle first and then like drag them over. I have a video on that for you guys, but honestly, maybe you haven't watched it. So I need to let y'all know, right? That one I didn't really like to drag too much. It was pretty much already centered, but I've wore these like three times, I think, two or three times. So they're already like shaped to my eye, which is the best thing about wearing fucking lashes over. Like, you don't have to worry about if they're gonna match or not. Match, if they're gonna lay right or not. So now I'm gonna go back in with this liner, as you can see, and all I'm doing is cleaning up the top of that eye where the lashes are, just to make it look a little more seamless. This is a new mascara. I love this. Um, this is the NYX Stacked Mascara. I think I mentioned it in my Poison Ivy vlog, the last one. Um, and vlog, Poison Ivy video. I love my Better Than Sex, like the mascara product itself. Does that make sense? Like I like that it doesn't fall out. I like that it, you know, it's gonna stay on all night. And I love that, I do, don't get me wrong, I really do. But. Um, I hate the bristles. I have thick they are. So I, I love the bristles on it. Like I love it. And this was a tester that Alicia got from work and she brought home to me and I was like, oh, I was like, I love the brush on this. So it's a fave. My better than sex. It's like, I don't think it is. It's just, there we go. I seen you grab it. You just want to talk about it. It's just so thick. Like, it's, it, it's, it's very easy to push your lashes together and then you have to unclump them. I was holding it too far close to the camera. There you go, see? It's like those little bristles. I just love that so much and I'm definitely gonna buy some more of this, so. Now I'm gonna do bottom mascara. So we're halfway through this eye look, right y'all? as I'm doing it off camera for y'all, and I realized midway that I didn't do powder under the eye. So we're gonna go in with the HNB, which is the Holly Boone Cosmetics um, Translucent Powder. These have not been out long. They're absolutely wonderful. I bought the shade Translucent and the shade Banana. Um, normally I would use the Translucent under my eye and Banana on the rest of my face, but a bitch ain't got no tan, so this is way too yellow and orangey. So we can't be using that. So we're going to use this all over. Um, it is a soft focus loose powder. It reminds me honestly of like any other powder. If you guys remember the cover girl shit you used to you when you were younger. Don't front. You know what I'm talking about. The huge one. Stupid thick. Lasts you forever. And ever, 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 ever. Um, that one was great. It was, but let's be real. Cover girl ain't impressing me for the most part. Um, I don't know why. I just don't like anything about them. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm gonna fix this crease here we got going on. It's a very dangerous game to play when you already did your shadows. So I recommend don't be me and play this game. Don't do it, it's not fun. Going in with an SK brush, I'm going to slightly and heavily, same time, put powder under the eye. Okay, look a little crazy right now. Let that bake for a second. I'm gonna go in with my shade light palette. My what is this? A shade and light palette by Kat Von D. 
And this is the shade Lyric and Shadow Play. You guys have seen it and clearly I'm fresh out of Lyric. This is what I normally use to brighten under my eye. I'm just going to set the contour. Okay. So I'm gonna let that set for a little bit more. I'm gonna, uh, actually no, it's good. I'm just gonna wipe it off. Use the same brush, I'm just gonna kinda like press it in. We'll side to wipe it off. I'm not gonna like do a swapping motion too much. Just kinda gonna. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some highlight do these lips and then do this hair. Put some in our finger. Oh yeah, that's what I want. So, highlight. Now I'll throw on some blush. Y'all can tell I'm getting in a hurry, can't you? Cause I'm like, oh, here I go. This is the Kylie We Going Shopping. Um, this is coral blush, more than a pink blush. And honestly, normally I would put it up for the summer, but I just love it so much. Like I don't want to change it yet. Oh, by the way, this is my favorite blush brush. This is the Jaclyn Hill um, JHL4 brush. It's amazing. Oh, so we're going to use the Handbag Ho Kylie Kit Liner and Matte Lipstick Brush and Gloss. Oh, this is such a beautiful color. Now I'm just gonna take the liner back and blend it. So now we're going to use, I love this gloss. Um, I can't remember if I used Bad Kitty or Feeling Cute, but I think it was Feeling Cute because it's a little more of a pinky matte than a brown matte. So that's what we're gonna put. <sighs> so beautiful. All right, guys. So let's do this hair, make this a whole look, and put some earrings in. Okay, so I just finished doing my hair. I went with you know some basic bitch shit and just straighten it because honestly, I don't really want to do anything else with it. I was gonna do like a half up, half down look, but I was like. Who even cares about all that? Like, I'm like, you didn't do nothing really today, so it's fine. So, I hope that you guys loved getting ready with me. This was different for me, but honestly, I kind of was feeling it. So, if you were feeling it, and I was feeling it, and you comment below and let me know that you were feeling it, then I will make sure to do more get ready with me's. Um, I just feel like it's a lot of me talking, and I already talk a lot as it is. So, but I love you guys so, so much for watching. I'm so happy to be back with you guys, and just to be back on schedule with you. It makes me so happy, and I love you so much, and I will see you next week.